We wipe an insane cave, meet on all their dinos, get a crazy giga line and do a bunch more in this episode. I'm putting a lot of effort into this video so it would mean a lot if you just hit that like button. But without talking too much, sit back, relax and enjoy this episode. We still don't have a proper garden area set up so I started working on that. The first thing we need to place were the beer barrels so I did that. And I wanted to use tech crop lots but I needed sand for it so that's why I went to extinction to go get some quick. I just went there with a mine drill, nothing too serious, just harvested a bunch of these rocks and that gave me enough sand and also flint to make the crop lots. So back at base there was the first thing I started crafting and now it was time to place them. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. Nice. I started to fill the crop plots with fertilizer and next on the to-do list was to get some berries because we were running out of them. So I went to the ocean biome on gen 1 and started farming with a stagger. This is definitely the best way to get berries. Just go on top of these pillars with any berry harvesting dino and you can get a slot cap very easily if you have the weight for it. I didn't quite get a slot cap because I was too lazy but it was enough to fill like two fridges so I'm fine with that. One of my friends wanted to do a trade with me. He wanted our PT and maving line so I gave it to him for the racer, carbo and mantis line. Oh my god, is that the real Aussie? I'm a very big fan of Aussie. Okay, I drop you the stuff you need. So uh, here is your eraser. Mm -hmm. There, that's my PT. Yep. And... Triceratops, Arbonemis, oh, and uh, yeah. Mantis Egg. Is that it? Bitch! Before this video continues, Absolute Dark is wiping next Friday the 16th of June at 4pm EST. There are a Windows slash Xbox cluster with 15 times harvesting rates, infinite weight, instant taming and a bunch of other nice things as well. They have the highest cash prices out of all Windows clusters with this season's being 1.6k dollars. Absolute Dark has the best quality of life changes, really balanced PvP to make it less of a grind and more PvP oriented. They host multiple daily events so if you are interested join their discord it's going to be the first link in the description. He also gave me a level 1 cloner so I started cloning that immediately. The racer that we got was like 47 HP and the carbo was 49 HP so those were pretty nice. And after throwing them out I crowded the rest of the PTs that were outside and then it was time to hatch some more eggs. I hatched a bunch of those 60 HP mailings that we got, we had like 8 eggs I think. And I also hatched the mantis that we got from that trade. It turned out to be 47 melees so that's pretty good for our mantis. Anyways, we were still needed a bunch of lines and the best way to get those lines laid on to a wipe is to trade. And we definitely got some good BPs. So I took some screenshots, posted them into the trading chat and not long after someone messaged me wanting to trade. He offered me 48 melee giga and a 600 draw gauntlet CP. In exchange he wanted one of our 60 HP may wings and some crafted stego saddles. Since no one offered me a better giga line I decided to accept the trade. So I crafted the stego saddles, got my may wing and went to meet up with him. The trade went pretty smooth but once I came back I noticed something. Bro this f***ing guy. Someone destroyed our outside TP so I had to go rebuild that. I crafted all the things that we would need and TP'd outside. I was scouting for some bases to raid and I saw this cave on Lost Island. It looked really juicy and I definitely want to raid this. They are also offline but to be honest, most of these bases are just not onlineable as a solo. My tribe mate was NA so we didn't really play too much together. But either way I went back to base, got everything ready to fob them and I went over there to try raid them. Sadly their RP reached all the way outside and I wasn't gonna bother blowing all those foundations since they had so much spam and I would have to waste a lot of C4. That's why I decided to just place my fob somewhere in the forest. I popped the stego inside to start soaking, but before I did that I went outside to throw out the UD so I can boost the stego and I also throw out another stego so that way we can get mate boost. Sadly the stego didn't fit so I had to get some tracks. Okay I'm gonna try to get this one here. I soaked the one tech turret first just to see how much ammo they had. I was soaking for like a minute and the tech turret was soaked so they didn't really have that much ammo on the tech turrets. To soak a heavy though it took like 3-4 to four minutes so those were kinda loaded. We soaked that as well. But yeah, soaking the main wall took a while so I'm not gonna bore you too much with it. There were some weird angles that I couldn't really soak so that was also annoying. But at one point I saw the tech gen so I thought that I could tech rifle it. Let's right, see how far we can push up with our player getting shot. Unfortunately we were a bit too far away so I couldn't hit the tech gen. I literally tried every single way with a stego and like trying different angles and everything. But nothing worked so I had to start soaking some more so I can get closer. After a while I had the idea to throw out the dino just to suicide it so that I can use the corpse to try the LOS a bit. Alright let's try this. Yes, we're hitting it. I cut this short for you guys, but you guys didn't know how long it took me to find that spot to hit the generator. This raid was really annoying to do, but I guess it's fine because we got in in the end. Oh my god. Also needs to be a bit careful though, because that Bessie. 
Probably gonna throw my Karcher out here first. I got rid of that base because it was annoying me so much during this raid. Okay, that's good C4. Oh, I think someone tried to raid them. I'm gonna cry this and then drop the wall. Damn. Didn't even drop the wall. Cool. Oh yeah, because RP. I forgot. Let's break this first. That should do it. Yeah, and now everything takes like so much damage. Jesus. Okay, that's the whole wall gone. Let's see if they have anything else in here. Like turret wise internals. Nothing on. No, they do. There was one tactor that was preventing me from getting into the base, so I just started soaking that since I don't have that much ammo. Please tell me it's soaked now. Yeah, I think we're fine. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're in. This is gonna be juicy, I can already tell. I think we're, I'm gonna start with the cryos. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna take all cryos and then go back to base quick. Carbos? Oh, I hope they're good. I kind of have to meet run all of this, I'm not gonna lie. Let's, let's do meet run quick. Pop my card chance on me drawing until I realize that I can just put it on aggressive and it can deal with them itself. You know what, I'll just do this because this is taking way too long. Hatcher. Oh, we got PTs. Ooh, fairies. I hope they're good. We're gonna take all these eggs. I'll start with the fridges and the rep. Let's take the Ellie. Alright, fridges. Alright, we got those eggs. This has oh, PT eggs, Afro cakes. I'll take all of this. Damn. Okay, nothing much in here. I'm not gonna take like the farm because we don't really need it. Ooh, st more cryos. Stegos, they look really bad. I'm looking for the blueprints. So that will be good. Tech wrap, here we go. Blueprints. Oh, I saw that. Oh my god, yes! Oh, these legs aren't too bad either. The boots are insane as well. What the f This Desmo saddle is so good. Okay, blueprints. We're taking all of this. Holy shit. Trike, PT. Shield. We didn't even have right BP. More stuff to sell. Bro, this is so good. Okay, the bullets. I won't take yet. Cryos. Here we go. And I think we can always take. Poison Wyvern. We needed that. Maybe I guess I'll take. So no. Shit trikes. Bought the element. Might as well. Ooh. Should I take all this flak? I don't think I want to. So, oh, cap shotgun I'll take. Ooh, cap saddles, tech generator, tech turrets, decent saddles. Actually not that good. Bro, those blueprints were so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna bring this back to base. Oh, more, more legs? I mean, they're not that good, actually. It's got all this ammo as well. This is so profitable. For a black box. Okay, we gotta go. I quickly went back to base to depot all the important loot and I went right back to get the rest. They also had like 500 shots in each tech that I didn't soak as well as 1.5k ARB in each heavy that I didn't soak. So I decided to take those as well and it turned out to be a lot of ammo. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. 42. Oh, they, f they have a better line than ours. What the f 52 HP. Damn. These fairies, I don't know if they're good, but that that's kind of what the f I didn't expect that. Alright, now let's get to the vaults, I guess. I got the trance. Ooh, seven turrets. And uh, I don't know if this is Velo's good, but a two so it's kinda shit, okay. I think these vaults didn't have much. Ooh, Stego. Rush. Okay. Most of these are empty, I think. Wow, these vaults are loaded. Kinda to be expected though. They had everything in this movie. Oh, and their replicator, I mean. I also decided to drop the whole base so I can get even more tribe score. Oh my God. Damn, there goes that floor. Ah, breakout tower. Oh, another, you know. They have like 4k electronics each, which is, which is nice. <clears throat> I'm too lazy to craft that. I guess I can get the metal as well. Why not? Yeah, this is another way. I don't know if they have what anything. The There's a guy. What the f? I hope that guy didn't put up a C4 trap. I need to be really careful now. 
Thankfully that guy didn't put up a C4 trap, so I was able to transfer all the loot out. In the background you can see the most important loot that we got, and that was basically the raid. I know it was an offline raid, but as I said before, it's kinda hard online raiding some of these bases as a solo. But yeah, moving on, I want to hatch those eggs that we got from that raid to see if they're any good. Let's start with the stegos, because I think they have, they can be 50, 54? Jesus! Our line is 51, I think. We just got a, like a free upgrade. Okay, let's put all the terminal eggs in here, let's see what stats they have. 43 53 oh my god bro we literally got the best lines from them what the f what's our line i think we have 46 yeah we have 46 Bruh. now we got 53 okay disable mating we have a new breeder now try i didn't expect that i thought they had shit lines 38 44 50 upgrade as well and two of them is oh my god bro these guys actually had the best lines okay i'm really hoping these fairies are good then as well 30, 38, 38 melee, that's okay. I think these fairies are good. Okay, 38 mantis, here we go. 42, I think we have 47, if I'm not mistaken. I started hatching all those eggs that we just got. They turned out pretty good. Sadly, we didn't get any twins or anything, but I'm not complaining. Moving on, I cried all the tames that my mate oh just my left God. out there. It was looking like a mess. And I'm pretty sure it's pannable as well. I sorted all the dinos in the cry fridges, and after that I started hatching more dinos. Our carbon line was getting along, we got a bunch of PTs, a bunch of Maywings, and everything was looking pretty good. A few episodes ago we got a really good male drop wire one with like 50 into melee, but unfortunately it didn't really have any other good stats, so I went to crystals to look for a female drop wire one with good HP. Instead I found this high level male, but I still ended up taming it since they're instant tame anyway. There it goes, it got... 43. I'll take that to be honest. Let's get this female and breed them up quick. What if he's pretty good? We have 50 melee. Then if we get this on the female now and breed them and get both sets, that would be really nice. So yeah, I started breeding those. I couldn't find any good females, so I just tamed low level females and kept breeding them in hopes that I can get the HP on the female. After being done with that, I went back to base to check out the eggs. Alright, let's get these eggs out. Alright, we need female with the HP. Okay, bad start. That was a really bad start. At least they're both female. Unfortunately, we didn't get the HP, but then I noticed something else. Oh shit, racers are about to hatch. Oh, there is one. Boom, female, got the HP. Oh, there's so, so many more. This one is shit. This one has the HP again, nice. We got twins here. HP and HP, nice. 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 Not nice. We got pretty lucky with the first rolls on that, and then I try make him online, so we start preparing for a raid. Therefore, I threw out all the good PTs that we had to then wake them up with a shadow main buff. They woke up in like two rolls, which is pretty nice in PTs. It was now time to level them, which took a while, but auto clicker made it a lot easier. After they got leveled all into HP, obviously, I had to get the Deodon to heal them, so I did that. And lastly, I crafted a bunch of PT saddles. What was your favorite Fortnite sound? To then sell the PTs and cry them up. While I was doing all of that, my trap mate was absolutely useless, and he even tried to fight me. Stop beaming my helmets! Damn! I'm killing with 10 FPS. Bam! Shit on! <laughs> Unfortunately, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're gonna do some raids. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. I'm new to this editing style, so definitely give me some criticism in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!